Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, Will. Hello. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Hey, what's up? Uh, did you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I'm going to. I I I just finished in a meeting in San Salvador, and now I go I go to road to Santa Ana City. Then I am going to go only listen to you because I go driving. Okay, be careful. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Ana Selmi, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday I had a problem with the connection and I finished the late a meal and it was impossible to connect. And I'm sorry. That's okay. You rattle in Miss Class. Hello, Ana Patricia. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. It's good. The day, my day. That's awesome. It's really good. Good to have you back. Where's Glorita? Um, and just va a conectar. Okay. Está en ese intentando. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Walter, Mauricio, good evening. How are you? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Ah, uh, everything fine, teacher. <laughs> uh, I had uh, a day, uh, a lot of work, a lot of work, and my company uh, for this time. Uh, and always, and always, I had a lot of work. Yes, it's very, very tired. Very tired, I guess. Yeah, it's in the middle of the week, right? So it feels really heavy. Yeah. And <laughs> some of you are still closing in September, right? Ah, uh, yes. In accounting. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to picture you on December closing the year and, or January, right? That's in January, right? Oh, yes. And uh, December and and the company and the, how do you say cierre? The closing. Oh, yeah, the, the closing, the closing, the, the years. And prepare uh, in January and start the, the products and the beginning the product. That's a lot of work. Yes. Yes. Because, well, some companies actually stop their production, right? When it's a manufacturing company, you have to stop the production and then stock the inventory. Or actually, you want to run out of inventory, right? To perform a, a, an inventory check. Yes. In the most, uh, the company textile. Most of all textile most companies? Of, mm -hmm. Yes, most of all textile company. And casi siempre la misma forma de trabajar. It's always the same closest, way of working. <laughs> okay. uh, the closest finish the, the year mm -hmm. and, the, and uh, the beginning the new year. That's right. Yes. We're about to start right now. It's 804. You may want you, you may ask something to a classmate if you want. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, this will be for tomorrow. So yesterday we were using vocabulary related to um, millennials. Tomorrow is Thursday. By the way, today is our class number 20. Today is our 20th class. And five more days and we finish the module. Um, so it means that I'll put the calendar this way. Uh, it means that, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. On Wednesday 12th, we finish the module. Wednesday 12th. Okay, so. Uh, don't forget to finish the platform by Tuesday, please. Tuesday next week, you should have already finished all the exercises on the platform so I can upload your grades. Among other news, I'm starting the gym tomorrow. Yeah, among other news, I'm going to either on Asia starting tomorrow. That's a commercial. Man, that's $25, $25 a month. Nice, teacher. I want to put some pressure on myself. Yes, that's good. Yeah. I just, I just feel like I have to do something about this little belly. That's me, by the way. That is me right now. So I have to do something about it. Sometimes I think that you are very, how do you say, exagerado? <laughs> I exaggerate? You're not, you're no, not, really, you're Rosalina. Not you, you, you don't, no, I am, I am. <laughs> I have never been this fat in my life. I was always, always skinny. I was so skinny. Yeah, I, I used to be so skinny. You could see my Adam's uh -huh, apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hated to be so skinny, you know, like. <laughs> yeah but then then i i i mean i got overweight but now now i'm not, i have never been so overweight i'm 225 right now 225 and i'm one meter and 74 centimeters 174 that that's me one 174 centimeters tall and I'm 225, that's like 30 pounds overweight at least, at least so. I, I'm going to use a new word from millennials that my daughter uh, teach me at this moment. He, he, tell, he tell me something that, uh, oh, mama, mom, I'm going, I'm going to go, I'm going to, uh, I don't know where, where Ricardone, exposition. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I come back, I come back, I came back. No, I come oh, back. I'll, I'll come back. Uh -huh. I'll come back after two years and I need to glow up. <laughs> I need to glow up. Yeah. <laughs> what? Glow up. What is that? Look at me. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, a real change, right? When Remember yeah. when, when you go I from... I never heard that. Global. Yeah, we used it yesterday. Pamela, I think she used it. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, you have to. When you change, you know, when you were yeah. the ugly duckling, <laughs> you transform yeah. into uh, a goose. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> really crazy. But it happens, and sometimes is is on the other way. Like me, I I used to be handsome. Now I'm too fat. <laughs> so. I don't know how they call that. <laughs> it's clapping backwards, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So let me do the attendance so we can move on. It's um, 8, 10 already, and we are 11. So let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Presentation. Ariana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Presentation. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. 
Excelente. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. She's there. Okay. Gabriela. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Yeah. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Not today. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Ariana Arce. Here, teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Oh, there she is. Hi, Sandra. Stephanie Thank Elizabeth you. Ayala Pérez. Not today. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susana is not here yet. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera is driving. Present teacher. Okay, you're driving to Santa Ana. Be careful. <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. I was just preparing something a little bit. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about some vocabulary related to millennials and tonight our main topic is provide tips for managers to lead millennials effectively. If you remember yesterday, we watched a video regarding this topic, but in a funny way, in a humoristic way, is not the way I expect you to treat your millennials, okay? Don't go, uh, don't overreact with some suggestions that remember that everything in excess is bad, right? So <laughs> try not to exceed the recommendations, please. Thank you, Gabriel, I got you. Okay, so what do you think? I want to hear you and remember, this is about you, not me. Okay, so what do you think? I need you to think as a manager. Right now, you own a company. You owe a company, it's yours. Oh, be careful, please. Don't say, oh, I'm sorry. You owe is tu debes, right? You own to possess, right? Be careful with that. You owe, you owe me. You solamente lo saco un objeto indirecto. Hey, Edwin, you owe me $5, right? I pay you last week, teacher. I remember <laughs> that. Right? You own a company, yeah? You own a company. This is very different. Be careful with that. So what do you think? Um, if you were the boss, you know, the owner of the company, will you hire millennials? That's the first question. Will you hire millennials? Yes, why not? Because, why not? because, um, I think I think that uh, maybe a millennials can up, oh my god can up, up, can I say can contribute yeah you can contribute to something new no I'm not going to have uh, how can I say all this people all these people it's it's good elderly elderly okay yeah in my company in my company i don't i don't want elderly people but i need some young people why not millennials they can contribute with her uh, oh no her no with uh, them them they oh my god <laughs> With their, their with kids. their mm -hmm. their yeah with their 
um, new uh, yeah, new environment, new new no. ways. No. Oh, 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 okay. You want to say with their new ways of doing things? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new, the new, the new age. <laughs> Okay, Carlita, thank you. Thank you, Rosalina. What do you think, uh, what uh, what impact will they have on um, tenured, on tenured employees? Tenure. Uh-huh. What, what means tenure? tenure? When you have over five years in a company. Oh, what the impact? What is, impact will millennials have on tenured employees? Um, well, it's a big impact because the senior are a uh, men with a uh, experience and a uh, big uh, skills and uh, this kind of people up for many, many um, successful at the company. And, and, and the millennial, it, it is possible that don't have the experience because uh, the millennial is less, less interesting for, for learning, for take uh, time, for for be experience. Hmm. Hmm. But but it's possible that the millennial um, can be a successful person in a future. We'll see. Thank you. Last question. Thank you, Carlita. Um, Edwin, what would you do to fulfill the generational gap between, you know, the tenure employees and the millennials? Uh, um, I don't understand the question. Teacher. So the, there's a gap, remember? Mm -hmm. There's a gap, a knowledge gap. Mm -hmm. and as Carla was saying, right? Millennials mm -hmm. don't have the experience. Uh, and the tenure employees, they have the experience. So there's a gap of knowledge. What will you do to fulfill that generational gap? It's like, hmm. I don't, I don't know. Probably, um, yeah. Um, oh my God, teacher! I don't know what I will do. <laughs> I Anybody? And sell me, Walter, Gloria, Ada, someone? I believe, teacher, that it's very important to, uh, to work together. The different, different uh, generation, different level of experience. Of because experience. Mm -hmm. the employees who has more... I'm sorry? Who have... Oh, the, uh, the employees who have yeah, mm -hmm. employees who have more experience experience mm -hmm. teaching to the employees uh, that they have less experience okay important because is there is a process of synergy between the different knowledge uh, between the... I, I think it's very difficult to to uh, because people who have a, a lot of, a lot of experience doesn't doesn't want to pass that knowledge to the to to the ones who don't have experience. That that's yeah. a good point as we covered mm -hmm. that before, right? Why will that be? Maybe because they think the this oh my god this guy is gonna is gonna took my job you know oh i don't know because he's going to, to take be, my job take my job because to be honest 
I, I, I don't, I don't be like, I don't like to be like this. If I have an, a, something in knowledge, I will share it with someone else, you know? Yeah. Okay, uh, now just clarifying what is a generational gap, a generation gap is the difference, you know, for example, there's there's a very famous video on social need network and it says something like, back in my days when I was a kid, we used to play trompo, right, picucha, right, chivolas, right, marbles with our friends. We we didn't have cell phones, right? Now the kids are always with the cell phone. Nobody is playing with each other, fighting, getting respondents, right, bruises. So th there's a big generational gap in that sense. Technology made up a generational gap. Okay, let's see. Yes, this, uh, yes? This, uh, uh, I share um, I share with you that in the company I work for. Uh, something is happening and it is that all the employees have been working for more than 15 years and they are all over for five year, years old. The last hire was a month ago and the new employee is over four years old. It, it is very interesting because uh, there are uh, 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 there um, aren't a, a Jones employee all are all wow okay so now what's the there's a mixture or there are more old employees no, no, all employees are all uh, because all are over 45 years old. What's the, yeah. the company or where is that? Ericsson, El Salvador. In El but Salvador, in general, it, in general. No, it's in, in general at Ericsson. Especially, especially on public, on public uh, institutions, right? like El Seguro mm -hmm. or many other offices. It's true. Mm -hmm. And that's because people don't want to- The uh, government. They don't, want to, they don't want to retire. And I mean, it's logical. Do you, well, do you want to retire? No, right? Because yeah. it, Ana sent me <laughs> is an example. She doesn't want to retire. She's studying, studying all the time. She wants to prepare herself. I mean, Dana Sony doesn't picture herself. I need, I need to work more, teacher. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. In, ten, in 10 years, I'm sure I will see Dana Sony working, working. And it's okay. And it's okay. You have to be busy if you want to feel alive. You know, that's very important. Okay. So let's understand the generational gap to be able to answer these three questions in groups really quick. Okay. And, and let's see if you will hire or not millennials, what impact will they have on tenure and employees? And what will you do to fulfill that generational gap? So I have a very short video, it's almost three minutes, it's not that long. But again, turn on the closed captioning, take notes, and then describe the video on your own ways, on your own, using your own language, okay? That's the whole point. So let's check the video. It's just two minutes and a half or so. Let's go.
I don't know if you made the groups because we are continue here. Ah, okay. I muted you, but hold on. Let me send you the link here as well in WhatsApp on Zoom. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Tell me, what do you think? Now, what is that generational gap? It's a, it's a difference. I think there is an, a difference in an attitude and behavior between the different generations. As the mm. video, the video is, is very real, realistic mm -hmm. because the millennials or the new generation all the time was thinking that uh, the the oh my god the generation before they them are um obsolete more yes, yes. strict strict ha, yeah have values mm. that millennials knows but no don't apply in, yeah not in the way that the 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 other generation lives Mm -hmm. Leave, yeah. lift, 
Lead. Lead. Uh, remember mm -hmm. that, well, the video doesn't talk about millennials and, and, and silent generation, but it's very, very uh, specific on how things evolved, right, Anaselmi? Yes, teacher, and the it's interesting the information of the video, and for example, that the it was very important the the industrial revolution revolution because the life changed. Life changed. Um, hmm. How? Change. Yes, that change and the each new generation, the period is uh, uh, average, the 20 years, the new. Yeah, that's interesting too. Every 20 years, the generational gap grows and grows and grows, right? New generation. Sure. Uh, yeah. Carla, I, Carla. I understand that the generation gap is the space be between uh, in two generations, for example, father and son, in a difference to ways of life, a different customs, mm -hmm. and in a different uh, ways to see the life, because, because the millennial have a a new and different custom in comparison in comparison in comparison of of the parents of their parents the the music is a different the school is a different the method of learning is a different uh, because, obviously because the technologies that to they influence in a different ways of life that's right. That's right. Things change. So we had to adapt. Now, if you heard, I love the part where it says that until the 15th or 16th century, there was no problem. I mean, there was no generational gap because there were no social medias. But something very interesting that the video doesn't mention. Imagine this. You are in 1922 and you work, you're like seven or eight years old and you work with your father, I don't know, doing whatever, you know, as a carpenter, iron man, you know, working with iron, um, I don't know. But there was no electricity. So when the sun sets, I mean, when the sun rises, you wake up when the sun sets, you go to sleep and that's your life. But then comes the industrial revolution. And one thing happened there. The fathers in general, they left their houses. Who was in charge of the house? What happened there? What do you think happened? Adriana, you know what happened when with the industrial revolution the father left the house early and came back used to come back really late when when the sun was setting already and sometimes parents fathers didn't come back to the house right they used to go tired tired si no si no lo sabían por eso se inventaron los bares las cantinas Right, because the fathers used to be so tired going back home, and they needed a beer or something to relax, to talk to someone. You know, it was a therapy. So, so what happened with the patriarchado? What happened with fathers being absent in the industrial revolution? No electricity. What happened? No idea. Okay. Matriarcado. <laughs> right. The mothers. The role of the women in the uh -huh. in the in the family. Um, 
was covered for the women. Yeah, women became in charge of many things in the house, right? And so on. I mean, things evolved. The kids had to follow the mother's rules and so on and so on and up till now. So uh, it's beautiful, right? It's important to understand that there is a generational gap in general. And I'm concerned the last thing they said, now the, that generational gap is growing faster. And that is the reason why I, I have so much trouble with my kids because it's so difficult to make them listen to make them understand one single task. Siempre les digo, me dejan toda la ropa al derecho en la ropa sucia. Solo la ropa interior va al revés. So that makes things easier for me to put on the washing machine, right? It's easier. No. Man, the underwear is stuck on the pants. Oh my God. I hate that. <laughs> so, but anyways, and I tell them every day, they don't do it. Hasta les puse un letrero así sobre la ropa sucia. Solo la ropa interior va a I think that this thing happened only to me. <laughs> <laughs> you thought? You thought it was only you. No, it's very common, right? Especially with kids, you know, with little kids. Yeah. Man, it's a headache. But that's the way it is. Okay, so let's get together. Let's answer the first three questions. Will you hire millennials? What impact will they have on tenured employees? And what will you do to fulfill the generational gap? In your job, in the company, you are the boss. You are the owner of the company. So think, think as the owner, think as the boss, okay? In small groups. Si necesitas aclarar algún punto en español, toma tu tiempo, está bien. O sea, el punto es comprender qué vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Questions? No? Ok. Nadie se queda aquí, por favor, para no dejar solo algún compañero en el grupo. A veces ocurre que dos personas que no pueden estar en la clase se juntan con una que sí está poniendo atención. Y es como que están en la nube. El compañero, la compañera. So, please, let's go. We have to answer the questions. What? We, we are going to answer the questions. Would you hire millennials? What impact would they have on ten, ten employees? What would you do to fill to fulfill the generational gap? Generational gap. The same the same things that we are talking at class. Okay, would you hire millennials, Adriana? Um, who you who you have? Millennials. Hire. Contratar as millennials. Ah. And in your company? <laughs> um, Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> um, but a millennial, a millennial is someone between, I think, twenty three since twenty three years. Is a young, a young people. 
-hmm. Forget that the it, uh, forget that maybe our millennials, maybe the the words the word millennials is oh my god, it's like a stamp in the in a frente. I forgot how can I say frente, <laughs> but at the company, uh. I'm going to talk. I'm going to tell with my case. In my case, at the company, um, the owner, my my boss, uh, hired uh, millennials. Mm, I think that it's difficult, but because uh, because there are tenure people at the company, there are many people uh, yeah. that have. 10, 15 years working at there. I'm going to have eight years at the company. But if a millennial comes, maybe I don't I don't think that they they change my my what my um my experience I uh, I think I I think that the millennials contribute is going to contribute uh, to with going to contribute with her how can I say enthusiasm I think maybe the el elders people working at the company they are boring and a millennial is enthusiasm but not all the time because there are millennials that are very oh my god <laughs> In my case, um, because I work with a team, uh, I need to 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 train them because it's important that uh, they must uh, know. The, the 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 methodology of the our work, but the new generation they are very smart. Uh, they are very smart people, in my opinion, and it's easier to to teach, but. The negative point is for they is easy is easy the the interruption or the distractors is for is very is easier in compare with the old generation because the focus during the work is. Um, the old generation we have the more concentrated in my opinion <laughs> <laughs> okay but is is good work with the the older generation uh, glorita glorita works with a lot of uh, <laughs> teenagers I, yes, glorita. yes i like it I I working with the boys millennium, yes. Okay, in my in my case, <clears throat> I work. I will. Ooh, I will hire a millennium boys and girls. Um, I. si yo fuera. Si yo fuera. He's right, teacher. If I wear, it's a. Si yo fuera jefe, I wear. Wear. I I will hire a millennials boys and girls. Uh, the 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 question two. The number, the question two is the, don't worry. In, in my work, um, uh, the majority was um, fantastic. 
Homework. <laughs> okay. So back to the questions. Okay. So what was what was the first one? Would you hear millennial? Actually, actually I do. Why? Because most of the call centers uh they have just millennials working. I work in a colonia San Francisco and there is a call center. Uh, the name is Wet, Wet Hell, I, something like that. But actually I get out from the San Francisco uh, uh, many times and I saw the guys, uh, uh, only millennials were there. I don't see old people working or getting in, in, into that call center. In so it, it, that means the millennials are more they can do better this job than all people or oh, i don't know if all people doesn't like that this job in my case i don't like i, I don't like it <laughs> yes i i think that is very important give the opportunity uh the millennial that mm -hmm. integrate for a uh, laboral life uh, but uh, but now is fashion to work at a call center or be a uh, influencer <laughs> because the millennial or uh, now want to be influencer because the social media are a war for they My my kids say that. What do you want to be? Oh, I want to be a influencer. I want yeah. to be a model. I don't know. Is is I don't like it. The people think like that. Yes, but if the influencer is if fashion now, it, it, it is it, for 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 use is sure that. Uh, don't understand that why why they want to be influencer, but now is all uh, young want to be influenced. For example, my cousin has uh, thirteen years old. She say, "Hi, I I I want to uh, have my my channel YouTube because." I want to work a YouTuber, for example. <laughs> Yo, no, you, 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 you should to study. No, because the YouTuber have uh, many money. Mm, okay. Easy money for him. Yeah, easy money. Easy money. <laughs> that sounds like yeah. you that sounds like you have been with Ruben <laughs> were you with Ruben before you know who's Ruben no no oh, okay yeah that that's his phrase you know another teacher the black teacher the brown oh, teacher yes, yes. He was my my teacher. Okay. Yeah, he, he that's his phrase, you know, he's always saying easy money, easy money. <laughs> <laughs> he's always repeating that. Okay. I know. Are you ready? I yeah. Think. No. Yeah. I don't know what is it that I am be like I am only talking about millennials. Influenza. Wait, but did you answer the three questions, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. me neither. Me neither. You know? Not not me. Not me. Not me. <laughs> not me. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> really quick. Review the answers. I'm just missing one group. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, Susan. The fear. The fear question is. Uh, Mm -hmm. 
like that. Um, as I thought, uh, are you talking to yourself, Walter? Excuse are me, teacher. Are you done talking to Floor or Ophelia about the three yeah. questions? No. And, and, and Ophelia, excuse me. And, oh, okay. And Floor. Uh, and, and, and Floor, yes. Ophelia okay. is the moment. Is, uh, I cannot. I go to the bus. And went, the question the three, okay. what uh -huh. would you do for the generation that teacher, excuse me, generation cat, que significa cat? Así como vimos en el video corto, hay una, un, un vacío generacional. Eso quiere decir literal, generational gap. Un vacío generacional entre generación y generación. No la, la millennial y los baby boomers, pero en gen, generaciones en general, Siempre hay un vacío generacional desde la desde 1600, decía el video. O sea, eso que, ah, que okay. los hijos saben más cosas que uno o se les educa de una manera diferente a la que nosotros nos educaron. Ya todo eso es una, un vacío generacional. Because of technology. Because of social media and all that, yeah. Ese fue el primer el video que vimos anterior, anterior a reunirnos, ¿ok? Ok, let... Ah, ok. Ok, continue, if you want, please. We're almost done. Ok. Uh, question three. In my opinion, I will I try to work... Care about the thing that you said, that um, many times you think, many times people can think that the new person is going to hit replace you mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay many many people think oh he or she is going to replace uh -huh. yeah, your first yeah. Your part. yeah okay mm -hmm. in my in my company they are um, much or more uh, millennials what sorry what kind of no, company no. did you work yeah what time me what time ah uh, six years no no oh. i say que uh, tipo de compañía ah, trabajas ah uh, uh, manufacturing Oh yeah, it's the thing that the we happened. make. Um, I I don't remember. Hilo and fabric, tela. Ah, mm -hmm. fabric, fabric. Uh huh. Oh, eh, mm -hmm. The um, majority. How do you say majority? Majority. Majority and the majority boss prefer a higher. Um, millennials engineers. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. in For this moment, experience. analysis and uh -huh. uh, in my company, yes. Um, um, uh, we, uh -huh, we, we, uh, some of values. How do you say? How you are many one. Mm -hmm. Many. Many. Mm -hmm. Many. Well, uh, 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 in a specific in my boss, uh, well, a specific my boss, uh, I he prefer uh, higher um person yes. job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that could be happened as the that I said it. in my case, uh, maybe it's the same to you because the manufacturing companies, uh, they need people that are more active and sometimes uh, well also they explode the, uh, how can I say it, explotación laboral. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Labor. 
exploding. No, wait. Mm. Labor explosion, but no, that doesn't make sense. Labor. Hmm. Labor exploiting, exploiting, exploit, exploration, saying is here. No, but it cannot be let literal. No puede ser literal. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that kind of company, Alex. they have more uh, labor problems with, uh, they, they need more people every time. So decide to uh, hire people, young people, because they have more energy to the, the, do the activities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, at mm -hmm. the, uh, the, comp uh, the company or and the also technicians? More le the okay. price of people that are younger is less than the price to get an, uh, an older because you, count, you, need to, uh, you need to count their experience that they have. Need to consider. They need to consider my experience. Yeah, they need to consider their experience. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I think what we're ready. Other question? Are, are you done with the questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Let's go back then. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm just waiting for the others. Three, two, one. Okay, so let's see. Um, what do you got? I have three questions, but before that, let me do the attendance really quick. So we can continue. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yeah. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Bien. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Come back yet. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Oriana Arce. She got disconnected, I think, and it, okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Pame. Mm -hmm. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Oh my God, where's Walter? Oh, there he is. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, so let me Present. go. 
Thank you. Let me go group by group. Group number one, Pre I have... Present teacher. Yes, I got you, I, Walter. I had, I, had a lot of, I had a lot of problem with my internet connection. With the internet. Don't worry. Just continue connecting. Continue connecting. It's okay. So, group number one, Adriana, Roselena, and Sandra. And Pamela, I think, right? Yes. So what do you think about the three questions? <laughs> well, we discussed about um, could be depend of the company, uh, the, the, the kind of company that we work, because I said it in, in my case, could uh, decide to contract uh, to hire millennials than another generation because they have the uh, the energy and the kind of their activities that rely they they need to re uh, they need to do are more uh, faster and the work is more is more kind of car that the different and a different company because we are working in a, I'm working in a manufacturing uh, you're working in a manufacturing company yeah mm -hmm. okay anybody else on the group That's it. Adriana, Adriana, do you want to talk? <laughs> Don't be shy, Adriana. Too shy. Me concedo mi turno, Rosita. We are, in general, in a few words, uh, we we what <laughs> we agree <laughs> yeah we agree that uh, um, yeah we we will hire millennials it doesn't matter because uh, like Pamela says uh, and the company Adriana works and Pamela works they need a uh, Millennials, because uh, the company is uh, what manufacturing manufacturing company, and they need um, a very oh my god um, skilled yeah skill skilled people. I was talking to at the company at the company that I work. All the technicians are millennials, are younger. They need an energy. They need. Uh, uh, they have knowledge, not like uh, an elder uh, technician, but they can learn something uh, from the from from the elder the elder employee in that in that in that way. Uh, they can join the the knowledge. I think they can. Fulfill the knowledge gap. Fulfill. Uh -huh, yeah, fulfill. Yeah. Can fulfill the knowledge gap. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Mm. Yes, teacher. And another point is um, important uh, that, uh, that that company have um, new ideas uh, that people, millennials, offer. Uh, at a com and, uh, and the company new ideas because uh -huh, the, the person young mm -hmm. for the company to have newer ideas newer ideas mm -hmm. área principal de oportunidad de este grupo también se había convertido en um, comparativos y superlativos super rápido ya vieron comparativos y superlativos sí 
más mejor. Entonces le voy a enviar ahorita un link. Nadie me va a corregir. Más mejor, vean. Entonces vamos Ajá. a ver. Ahí le voy a enviar un link en WhatsApp. Eh, ahí está una presentación en SlideShare que a mí me encanta. Eh, súper fácil de entender los comparativos y luego los superlativos con ejemplos, son las reglas bien, bien fácil de aprender eso. Eh, va con una imagen, pero la imagen no le pongan atención ahorita, ok, not yet ok, moving on good job, let's see on your um, um, zoom chat could be the pen off decía Pamelita, could be the pen off could be up to It could be up to the kind of company. I say, no lo necesito. Could be up to the kind of company that we work for. That we work for. Because I said it. Me encantó eso. Because I said it. Porque lo dije. Because I said it. They can do things more faster. They can do things faster. Yeah, if you hire young people, yes, they will definitely do things faster unless unless they are seniors a menos de que sean uh, generación Z okay mm. okay more kind of hard it's like more kind of hard this is a no you fresa y si es pálido that's like more kind of hard <laughs> so it's it's harder it's harder por eso les estoy viendo esa presentación para su comparativo y superlativo porque solemos cometer esos errores bien pequeños y se corrigen bien fácil solo estudiamos un poco eso okay? that topic just one more group um, let me select ta, 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 ta. I noticed group number two was very very uh, focused don't think group was estaba bien enfocado en, en contestar las preguntas so group number two let me see number two was Wendy, Ada, Anacelmi and Gloria just give us your opinion guys girls girls what do you think um, would you hire millennials remember you're the boss you're the owners yes teacher Um, we we go hire millennial. Uh, we discuss about our answer and in our uh, in the forecast you unanimously uni, unanimous unanimous right unanimously unanimous unanimously Unanimously. Unanimously. Mm -hmm. Our uh, answer is yes. <laughs> uh, yes, we will hire. Why? Um, according our discussion. According, uh, to? according to our discussion, we believe that It's good work with the different generation. It's good to uh, it's good to work to work with the different generation. In, in the case of the Wendy, uh, oy, oy, oy. in the case of Wendy, in the case Wendy of Wendy, uh -huh. Wendy, in the case of Wendy, uh, the strategy and her company in, in her work mm -hmm. is the, her boss uh, separate the, pro, the, genera, uh, the similar generation in a specific project. Mm. For me, it's an uh, uh, interesting experiment. The, 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 yeah. yeah. In the case of Adita, Ada, um, works along but in general uh, she say she say that it's good to work with the other generation in my case teacher i work with the different generation and for me it's good uh, totally i yeah hey um 
Ah, esta cosa me corrigió. A ver. In a yoga teacher is it possible to to get the balance in between when between the, the different generation. Excellent. Very good. Same thing happens in Canada or used to happen in Canada. Uh, Canada, as you may know, is a, has a lot of different nationalities. I mean, it's a country that accepts the biggest amount of nationalities. I mean, there's a cultural exchange. That's different. It, it's not, it, there's no generational gap. It's just cultural exchange. You, you're, you're studying at the university and next to you, you have someone from, like, from India, you have someone from uh, France and so on, right? Asia teacher, that the culture Asian. Asia is very different. Yes, and all of them, whether speak English or French or in the universal language. You know what is the universal language, right? Yeah. Sign. Just by signs. <laughs> right? And they go, hey, hey. <laughs> I remember friends, I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> no, I don't know what, what was this on oh, on friends they used to go like. No, what is what do you mean? I don't know. I have to watch the series again. But I see Ross a Ross le agarró un episodio de hacerle todo el mundo así. Y nadie sabía que quería decir eso. So, anyways, okay. Hey, friends. friends, one of my favorite shows. Strategy, strategy. Remember, intonation. Strategy. Is, strategy. <laughs> is that a, a strategy? No, strategy. Strategy. Okay. Hey, difficult word choice. Anonymously. Unanimously. Un uh, yes. Unanimous. Because it's long. It's long. It's long. Word. In you, no. unanimously. Unanimously. Okay, for me. <laughs> wow. But sometimes long words. You can pronounce them very good, actually. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Exactly. Unforgettable. Okay, so let's move on for our next stage here. You have homework. I'm gonna give you homework right now. If you haven't seen this movie, you must watch this movie for, or by Friday, by Friday, you should have seen this movie already, okay? Do whatever you have to do. Just go on YouTube, go to Netflix. I don't know, just look for it, okay? This is just the, um, the trailer of the movie. Okay, so there you have a little extra of the movie, a little homework. Okay, so I'm going to give you three minutes for you to watch that little video. Okay, watch the video really quick. It's on your WhatsApp too. I'm trying to put it on the WhatsApp. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three, watch the video.
Okay, it's on Netflix, really, Edwin? <laughs> That's a great movie, it's true. What's the name in Spanish, Pamela? You know it. It's Pasante de Moda. Mm -hmm. Pasante de Moda. Try to watch it in, in English. I, I, I noticed something on this clip. Number one, the word senior senior it has two two cents you know senior from high school she said se senior from high school so when you're about to graduate from high school from bachillerato for example you're the senior prom right the senior prom but senior in the united states is called as well senior citizens the senior citizens like the third a tercera edad, okay, senior citizens. Interesting. So be careful. That if you hear if you hear someone saying he's a senior, he's a senior, he's an old person or a senior from high school, okay? And the second one, I love the way he, they used stand out. Stand out. Because she was telling him, right? Oh, you don't need to, you don't need to wear a suit all the time. We are always casual here, and Hathaway said. And he was like, I don't mind. At least I'll stand out. How do you say sobresalir in English? Stand out. Stand out. OK, so homework. Is that OK for Friday or Monday? Monday. Monday? <laughs> You're busy all the time, I know. <laughs> okay. Correction. Homework for Monday. I'll make you questions, okay? Did I write it right? Correction, yeah. Um, so I'll make you questions about the movie. It's a it's a good movie, it, you know, it has a very clear message. You know, Pamela, what is my favorite part of that movie? Um, no. Well, it's not my favorite part. It's just that during the whole movie, he keeps going to funerals. One funeral, another funeral. <laughs> it's like, who passed away? <laughs> I mean, that's like going to the movies for when you're, when you're old, instead of going to the movies, you go to a funeral. Oh, come on. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> let's go with uh, the presentation that I had pending for you guys. Really? Do you have to watch that movie for Monday? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I lost my consciousness. So regarding today's topic, I am supposed to tell you as managers of a company, how you can lead millennials, how you can work with millennials in reality, not a joke, 
Okay, because it's true. I mean, you will see that movie and by Monday, you will understand this. So yesterday we, we kind of said a few things, right? The number one point was millennials seek peer affirmation and feedback, meaning that we need feedback all the time. We need to hear from our boss that we're doing a great job. Now, number two, millennials aren't all about the money, right? We want to be creative. Oh, mind is, millennials love to be creative. Is this something positive or negative for your company? It's positive, teacher. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes. Now, there is something in engineering, engineering that I loved and it's called re-engineering. Process re-engineering to recreate something. Think about different ways of doing things. Um, let's continue practicing. Uh, Susana Carolina, would you please? Okay, teacher. Every other, uh, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> I need to remember the, the, the number, teacher. 80. 83% of millennials want a job where creativity is valued. Valued. Very good. Let's repeat. Creativity. Creativity. Oh, is cre valued. Creativity. Creativity. Creativity is valued. It's valued. Perfect. Valued. Yes. We want a job where creativity is valued. Uh, and I'll continue giving you examples. My call center job. Uh, they are always giving prizes. They give points. We have this website where you can earn points if you give ideas to the company. For example, if I tell my company, hey, you know what? This process is not working. Why don't we do this, this, and this? And if they like the idea, they implement it. And they compensate me with points. Okay, so just to give you an idea, last time I bought a, an iron, a hair, hair iron, wait, wait a minute, an iron for the hair. I can't remember how to say that. You know what I mean, right? For your hair. And it was like 2,500 points. I didn't spend a, a penny, you know, it was free. Okay, so that's part of the example. We want to grow. Millennials want to grow. They want growth, growth. But how? How do we want to grow? Okay, um, volunteer, Susana. Oh, no, wait, <laughs> Pamela, please. Sorry, to read it right. Mm -hmm. Forty percent think they should be promoted every two years, regardless for per performance. Of of performance. performance. Good. Okay. So, what do you think, Pamela? Would you like to be promoted every two years? I think it's correct. So, well, to me, it was a good. Um, a good way to um, qualificate it and um, it's a good way to demonstrate it from the company that the workers are um, important important in the, the different kind of um, questions, positions. positions. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's also could be um, could be depends also that, that you demonstrated if you are qualified or not. Mm -hmm. It could depend on if you're qualified or not. Yeah, mm -hmm. but totally. Uh, well, it says regardless of of performance. So no matter how good 
you mm -hmm. are as an employee they have to promote you every two years mm. but you well, know to me that's not uh -huh. makes sense to me it could be uh, yeah what for me uh, for me <laughs> <laughs> for it me doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't make sense, make sense. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you are in the same uh, company per two weeks, two two years, uh, you have a, a you grow in your position in a different way, and now you can demonstrate it that you have the capacity, or you have the now it's new. Uh, you have the experience uh, to be promoted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but uh, this it really but doesn't make sense. That, I mean, yeah. just the way you said it, if you spend two years in the same position mm -hmm. or, you know, in the same company, if you spend two mm -hmm. years in the company, man, it means that you're doing your job. Well, well, maybe not the best, right? But if they haven't fired you, then yeah. you, you should be promoted, <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I got this point. I got yeah. this point. Totally. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. So growing every two years, they want a little something more. Millennials want a little something more, but they said no money. No money. It's not about the money. Okay. It's not about the money. Carla, what is it? 92% believe success should be measured by more then use profit 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 very good 92 percent believe success should be measured oh measured by more than just profit 92 percent believe success should be measured by more than just profit what do you think Okay, what do you think? Well, let's go by parts. What is profit? Gains. What again? Gains. 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 Uh huh. Incomes. Oh, economic result. In Yes, incomes or the, the economy result positive. <laughs> Earnings, uh huh. The profit, that's right. Okay, so it's the it's money, right? We're talking about money. Yes. But let me give you an example. I have a friend who teaches because of the money, because the more you teach, the more money you make. Okay. But is that being successful? Yeah. I mean, traditionally, traditionally, if you are called by many academies, it's because you do good. You're good. You build your own reputation, right? You have reputation that you're a good teacher. But when you say no to some jobs, it's like you do this not for the money. It's because you know you are successful. Okay, you you measure you measure your success by knowing that you're you're good. You don't need all the money. You don't need to be working all the time. You become a little bit exclusive, maybe in this. And I'm talking about teaching. I'm talking about teaching. Maybe in other words, in other jobs. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think the, the more balance, the more money? The balance in, mm -hmm. oh, in, for example, is the the money is important, but there there are the other factors. 
for example, the balance between the personal time and the job time. <laughs> yes, that is true. And I love this book. I haven't mentioned it so far. Y si han estado conmigo, saben que me encanta este libro. The One Thing. I think it's called Gary Keller. The writer is Gary Keller. Um, the One Thing. And it talks about that. Ana Selmy. For me, success is balanced. You have your line of work. And then this is your life. You have a line of work. And then you have a zigzag. Family, friends, family, friends. And in the middle, your job. Family, friends, family, it's part, friends. It's part of your, uh, of your life. Mm -hmm. It's part of your life, but it's not all. It's not the center. No, what I'm saying is the most important thing goes in the middle. And then the balance is to be bouncing between family, friends, church, family, friends, church. I don't know. It could be the opposite. You know, the, the most important thing for you is God in the middle. And then you have your job, your family, your job, your family in the middle, God. Okay. So there's a balance. I, I agree with you. There has to be a balance. And that's success. Because if you, you, you can dedicate the time to what you like doing, then you're successful, okay? If you have time, listen to this, if you have time for yourself, for your family and for God, you're successful, right? In this world, in este mundo actual, si tienes tiempo para Dios, para tu familia, para ti, ya sos exitoso. Y tener tiempo significa, o sea, cubrir sus necesidades. Y aún así te queda tiempo para todo lo demás. Man, you're successful. You're fine. Don't worry. Okay. So, continuing. Millennials, they want to feel like they are making a difference. Both in the business and also in the world. Can you make a difference if you're working? <laughs> I thought that Carla was about to put a hat on her head. Or that is no, okay. So can you make a difference with your job? Somebody let me see. Let me choose somebody with the camera off. Um or no, no, Gabriela is too quiet. Gabriela, what do you think? Can you make a difference in the world with your job? Mm. Yes, uh, in the work, we can uh, search different ways to make the things, mm -hmm. uh, uh, make process, uh, I don't know, search different solutions, no get only the problems, uh, but also the, the solutions. Mm -hmm. And in the work, the to uh, maybe help the others if you want. So I think every people can make a, a difference. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Help the others, help, help others in general, right? Help others. Uh, I think, last thing you said, every people, every person. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, every person una cosa, every siempre va a ir seguido de un singular por ejemplo, every day every person, every time everybody singulars, singulars good? so yes, totally agree with you Gabriela you can make a difference in your work if you think about different ways of doing things so let millennials make an impact Okay, let them make an impact. 72% of them say it's important. But why is it important for millennials to feel that they have impact, that they're making impact? Let me give you an example. 
every call center that I have worked for, they have a saying that if you want to grow, they say, if you want to grow, you have to shine, shine first. And, and that means let, let people, it is like show yourself, show yourself. Let people see in your job what you're doing, okay? Let them see, get results, give results and deliver results. That's very important. If you want to grow in a the consider. Other, mm -hmm. In the other one teacher, the millennials, uh, they have, no, they take care more the planet. Generally. Of the planet. They of go the planet, green, yeah. they, they are green, it's true. That is true. Yes, the, the, the uh, their house. Mm -hmm. It's green. <laughs> yeah, they don't like printing things. That's right. That is true. Okay, let's see. This can be as easy as how can you impact? How can you create impact? Just the way um, Ana is saying, Flor de Maria, could you read, please? This can be as easy as. Yes. Providing volunteer opportunities. Encouraging, <laughs> difficult. En en what? <laughs> Encur <laughs> encouraging, encouraging. Encouraging, then, then encouraging, then to mentor others. Letting them teach interns, giving them a growth plan. Plan. Mm -hmm. Plan. Mm -hmm. Embra embracing community activities. Community activities. Community activities. Very good. Okay. Providing volunteer opportunities. Let's go one by one. Uh, I remember in 2000, uh, my God, hold on. 2007, I went to Habitat for Humanity. And also to Un Techo Para Mi País, I think it was called something like that. I, I went volunteering. I was volunteer. We went to Sacacoyo, or I can't remember the name of the place. And we built a house together. It was We were like 80 people. We were like 80 employees on our day off. It was our day off. And we went to, to that place and we built a house. It was crazy. I mean, of course, we, we, we just started building the house. We didn't finish it. But the thing is that, can you imagine 80 people working at the same time for free? For free. So providing volunteer opportunities is very important. Uh, this providing volunteer opportunities is part of, um, who remembers the the SRS, Social Responsibility Programs, I'm sorry, SRPs, Social Responsibility yeah. Programs. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's very important. Encouraging, encouraging them to mentor others. Okay, encouraging them to mentor others. This means, hey, come on, man, help, help your class, uh, your coworker, help them. Okay, always be there for others. And at call centers, we have this saying of um, share best practices, share best practices. Have you heard that, Adriana? Share best practices? Yeah, that's very important, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Compartir, right? Ah. Share best practices. Uh -huh. Compartir las mejores prácticas. That, that's a, a culture. That's a culture in call centers. Letting them teach interns. As you could, as you saw in the clip with Robert De Niro, he's an intern. So the millennials teach him how to use a Mac. He doesn't know how to use a Mac, I think. So they teach him. Giving them gro a growth plan. Now, I wanted to stop on this one. Giving them a growth plan. This 
has been very important in, in call centers for me because the first, no, the second call center that I work for, um, the um, Dell, you know, working for Dell, they, from day one, when I was trained, from day one, they said, you know what? If you want to grow here, shine. Do your best on every position that you are. Show your best and you will be able to grow. And I did, and I grew really fast. Embracing community activities is the same as uh, providing volunteer opportunities. That's very important. Let's move on. Um, so remember, do good, give back. Sponsor, who can tell me what's sponsor? What's the meaning of sponsor? Edwin? Um, I don't have an idea, teacher. What is my sponsor? I don't have an idea. You don't have an idea. Okay. What's a sponsor? Is, is, is sponsor is like a... Uh, um, is patrocinador. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful <laughs> Spanish. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> that that's a sponsor, un patrocinador. Someone who represents you with money sometimes. Most part of the times they give you money to help you. Okay? Do good, give back, sponsor others. Okay. As long as you make your mission clear and stay transparent and stay transparent, your millennials will be happy. Now, make your mission clear and stay transparent. Okay, set the expectations. Now, this is not just for millennials. If you set the right expectations and you remain realistic, for example, Rosalena, if you tell your boss, boss, I will give you the report at 3.30 p.m. Wait, no, 3.35 p.m. I'll give you the report, okay? And you, you go there at 3.34 and 50 seconds. Here it is. Is that setting the right expectations? Yeah, right? Yeah, because I... I... Did? I did. I did what I said. Okay, I did what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did what I said. Now, is it the same, Rosalina, if I tell my boss, mm, listen, this is a difficult task. Today is Wednesday. I'll give you the report on Friday afternoon. Am I setting the right expectations? Mm, no, for me, no. Why? Mm. This is a difficult task. You know what? I'll give it to you on Friday yeah, afternoon. Because, or, or maybe yeah, because I'm, um, oh my God. I, I'm being, if you search for tenderness, I'm it being, isn't hard to do. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm being yeah, honest. Honesty. Honesty. Honest. Yeah. Okay. I'm being <laughs> honest. You yeah, see, honest. It, it works working with, I mean, studying with <laughs> lyrics, it works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as long as you're realistic and honest, you will be fine. Okay. Tip number three. I'll speed it up. Give millennials the full package. Mm. Give millennials the full package. If you're a manager, even though millennials value more than monetary incentives, they still want a competitive benefit package with unique offerings. So it's not about the money, no. But how about an extra day off. How about tickets for a concert? How about going to the cinema? You know, tickets to go to the cinema. How about the company produces 
your company produces, uh, I don't know, uh, t-shirts, very famous t-shirts, those Colum Colombina or Colombian. What is it? What is it? Colombia. Colombia, right? They, they produce Colombia. Would you like to get a Colombia, a free Colombia sample? Well, give me results and I'll give you one shirt every month if you reach or your goals. Or a schedule flexible, teacher. Flexible schedule. You know what? Thank you. And I tell me, we are evolving. This job, these jobs that I do from home, I could do them, you know, traveling to Argentina. I could be in San Miguel right now and still be here. <laughs> I'm thinking. Hmm. <laughs> I I I've, I wanted to do that, you know. I really want to do that. Go to the beach, to a ranch, you know. Make sure there is internet connection, of course. <laughs> okay. So yeah, or, that, that... or time teacher for for the Family? study to study. Family. Yes, to paying study. paying your university. Yes, yes, a scholarship. 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 Even the yeah. half. You know what? Dell, Dell had that benefit. They have that benefit. They used to pay you a 50% of your school, give you a 50% scholarship at the Universidad, Universidad Francisco Gavilla. There was an yes. agreement. An agreement. Man. The other benefit teacher for the is very is very is say motivated for the millennium is the program program of the mobility mobility program what do you mean like cell phones it means no the news is the according when the the professional um, compliance specific requirement they have the opportunity to work oh, for yes. one, two years in the other country. In another country. An exchange, yes. I've seen that too. I have seen that in some call centers when they want to do an internal exchange of employees. So, and that's when a company has different branches, right? In other countries, that's amazing. It's really good. So we value not only the basic benefits as we're mentioning, like medical insurance, or uh, 4,001, 401,000, but also benefits that add to a well-balanced life. Benefits you can achieve for a rel relatively, relatively low cost. Let me give you another example, yoga classes. Some call centers, give you yoga classes. Now with this uh, working from home, uh, I just see I, I just see the notification on my email, tuk tuk yoga, tuk tuk yoga and I'm like, uh, not today, thank you. Because th there's a guy, there's a guy saying, okay guys, let's do this, let's get ready. I'm like, no, the thank active. you. <laughs> the other name teacher of the active. What is it? In, in, it's a pause. In, it's a pause. In, job, in a pause in your job, but, but is the for relax. For relaxing. More, for there's a Mexican, active, there's a Mexican active pause, movie. Active pause, teacher. An active pause. But this yeah. is not for call centers. This was invented back in the 50s, 60s. There's a movie with Cantinflas, I think, or Pedro Infante, I can remember, where they go to a plant, they go to a manufacturing plant, and all the ladies, uh, you know, the bell rings, ring, and then they stop, they stand up, and they start stretching. One, two, one, two. Okay, continue. Like that, like military. And that's good. It is important to do that. Okay, we're almost done. 45% of millennials will choose workplace flexibility over pay. Just the way you said, Anastasia, I mean, I prefer being at home or working somewhere else, but not being, 
like surrounded, you know what? It has made a big difference. Working in the building, it was, you used to call the call center and you heard on the back, yeah, yeah, even crying. <laughs> Some agents lose control. Some agents lose control, it was crazy. But now working from home, can you hear a thing? You hear nothing, right? There's no noise, right? So there's a difference. We prefer peace. I prefer peace. Even if that means missing $50 a month, I don't care. I prefer peace. It's important. Okay, let's see. 69% of millennials believe office attendance is unnecessary on a regular basis. Just what Anna Selmy was saying as well. Um, attendance to a job. Hmm. You know, I kind of disagree with this because, no, but in reality, if you're a smart company, you will have your employees working on the most productive time of the day. That's it. For example, if you have to contact clients and your clients arrive from work between 6 and 8 p.m., you will have everybody calling at that time. Hey, call the clients, call the clients, 6 and 8 p.m. Or because at between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., everybody's running to go to go to work. But between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., they are just arriving home, right? I mean, if you play smart, it works. Okay. Now, these jobs are referring to jobs that are not manufacturing. I mean, for an operator, <laughs> this doesn't work, <laughs> definitely. Don't forget about travel. Hmm. Don't forget about travel, traveling. Why? 59% of millennials want to work abroad, just as NSL me was saying, at some point in their career, at some point in our career, we really want to travel somewhere, meet other countries. I think everybody does that. Which make them the perfect candidate for, you guessed it, relocation. This makes them, makes the millennials perfect candidates for relocation. So if you don't want them in your company, send them to another country. Go, go, please. Okay. <laughs> Remember to provide their future too. Um, let me see, Ada. Patricia, would you please read? Okay. Companies offering pay parental leave dropped 5% in 2014, which could be a make or break benefit for millennials as they will soon be entering parenthood. Thank you. Companies offering paid parental leave Okay, this means, mind this, in El Salvador, if you become a father, not a mother, if you become a father, I believe now you're you're given what, how many days? Two days, three days? If you're a father, you, you're given two or three days. But in some countries that is not paid parental leave. Okay. Um, so in some companies, they do pay this time. Now, less companies are doing this since 2014. They are not offering paid parental leave. And this could be a make or break benefit for millennials. This make or break, whether you take it or you leave, is like, if you like it well, if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. Ahí está la puerta, right? There's the door. Si alguna vez les han dicho eso, I'm so sorry for you. De plano. Ahí está la puerta. Ay, hate that from bosses. Okay, so it's a benefit. Mm. Now, many millennials, I mean, if you're a millennial, you're about to be a father or you are a father already. Last, listen to this, get comfy. How are you today, Rosalina? Ah. 
I'm comfy, teacher. I'm comfy in my couch at home, taking a chocolate, hot chocolate. I'm comfy. Okay. Millennials like to work in a warm and collaborative environment. Comfy, comfortable, 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 comfortable. That's the diminutive of comfortable is comfy. Okay. Yeah, you can use it. So they prefer a more comfortable, comf comfy environment uh, because 79% of them think jeans should be allowed at least sometimes at work. <laughs> now, in my days, it was like at least once a week. Now it's at least sometimes. What do you think, guys? Uh, do, do you prefer be comfortable at work? wearing jeans or be always formal, you know, we using makeup and with a tie. But depend of the code, code of dress, teacher. But the dress code. I prefer dress code, yes. Depending on dress code. Because in my case, it's formal. And now I, I need to remember uh, to co-workers uh, when we have the meeting presential with a client mm. uh, remember if we we need to to wear the, the cl uh, formal clothes because during the pandemic clothes so uh, formal clothes but during the pandemic in you know, 100% in home office. <laughs> we are we are more comfortable. We're more comfortable. We 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 are always dressing more comfy. You cannot be company. Teacher. It depends like, on the company. True. But man, back in the days, in my times, I had to be formal all the time, and I liked it. I loved it. I used to like a lot. Uh, to dress formal because I like combining the colors, you know, I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I don't know. I don't know. That's the way I was raised. Así me creo mi abuela. Bueno, okay. Good. Um, so, ayer fue el último día para entregar los papeles para el avanzado 2. Recordarles eso, la plataforma debe estar completada para el miércoles desde el principio de de la clase, perdón, para el martes, ¿verdad? Ese es su último día. Eh, eso. Y quizás con lo último que acabo de decir, recomendarles a los hombres, ¿verdad? Si se te pones pantalones cafés y zapatos cafés, pues los que se tienen, se tienen que ser cafés también. Sí, si tu traje es negro, no te vas a poner calcetines blancos. Por favor, no hagan eso. <risa> Fue la primera clase que recibí en la Cámara de Comercio con el técnico que saqué de administración. Lo primero que nos dijeron. Uh -huh. Our president use soccer. Is... Oh, yeah, that's different. I mean, yes, <laughs> you can use color, <laughs> color dressing socks. Se puede combinar, claro, pero si tu traje de color, puedes combinar, ¿no? Si se fijan, <laughs> si se fijan, él usa un traje azul, calcetines rojos y viceversa, ¿no? Para gustos los colores. Lo, teacher, teacher, los millennials no usan calcetines. Um, mm, Yo así ando y pese, ya me estoy adaptando a ello. <risa> shorts, sneakers, no, sin calcetines. Yeah. La mayoría y veces he visto y bichos hay que andan allí, pero de lo que se ponen las mujeres, de esa pan, de una chiquitilla. Total que no andan calcetines, la mayoría de mm -hmm, mm -hmm. eso, <risa> oh my God. Vamos a hablar de eso también el uh, día de mañana. Ah, hay, okay. car hay características extrañas. Eh, pues, costumbres extrañas de esa generación como meterse los pantalones ponerse una bolsa en el pie para meterse el pantalón Fine. <laughs> what it's crazy okay anyways guys I'll see you tomorrow um, tonight I'm staying with Gabriel Alejandra if you have 10 minutes would you would you have 10 minutes thank you okay Ada Patricia Linares Galdames present thank you Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores Present. Anacel Micheves. Present teacher. 
Edwin Alexander Ayala de Razo. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Julia is not here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. No se nos unió hoy. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Ofelia, ok. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reinas. Present. Hasta ahorita despertando, dice. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Es despertando también, ajá. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. No está con nosotros hoy, ok. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susana, no se durmió. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. También. Present. Ah, bueno. Good night, thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Ya llegamos a Santana. Yes, I just arriving uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. Oh my God. Okay, take uh, care. The traffic was terrible, teacher. Well, I, I, uh, I, I'm at home. Excellent. Well, take care, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Hmm. Mira, pues. Susana. <laughs> oh, my God. Wendy. Hello. Yo creo que se durmieron. Okay. Hello, Gabriela. <laughs> Let's practice. Let's practice. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let's conduct an interview. Okay. So, hi. Hi. What, How are what? you? I'm doing great. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Gabriela. Nice to meet you, Gabriela. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela. So, Gabriela, um, tell me about yourself. Who are you? Okay. Um, I'm a logistic engineering. I have 24 years old. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I like uh, paint. I like paint in my free time. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really? Okay. Um, do you live alone? Are you married? Are you do you live with your parents? I still live with my parents. Awesome. How old? You're 24. Okay. With your parents. Do you have any brothers, sisters? Yes. I have an older brother. He has very, I don't know, 35 years old. Wow. Okay. He's <laughs> old, older than you. Okay. Yes. Good. What's your favorite hobby or your favorite? Yeah, your favorite hobby. What What do you do on your spare time? Mm, I like a uh, paint, make puzzles, uh, puzzles, and watch movies, comedy movies. Really? What's your favorite comedy movie? Mm, I don't have the favorite movie, but. Uh, I also love the Disney movies, like the Still? Lion King. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Really? What, what, what was your favorite Disney movie? I, um, Tierra de Osos, but oh. in English, it's different. I, I can't brother. remember. 
uh, Big Bear or something like that. Uh, hold on. Um, I love that movie. Yeah, I know. And there are two, right? That's the first part okay. and the second part. There's a sequel. There is a sequel. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's an old movie like Spirit or Pocahontas or things like that. No, Pocahontas is older. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh, tell me, what's your background? <gasps> background where, where have you worked what's your working experience okay uh, i have worked for two years in the this is my first job so i have uh, two years in this workplace i uh, general general i in charge to arrange and coordinate the shipments from different countries mainly from Asia and Europe. And you do that all day, every day? Yes. Do you work on Saturdays? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Oh, not all the times. No. Uh, we, it's supposed that we only work from Monday to Friday, but sometimes we need to work on weekends. Especially now with the problems on the chain and distribution, right? The distribution channels, everything is delayed, right? Due to the yes. pandemic. Yes, but uh, this weekend, this week uh, is holiday in China. So the work is mm, a little relaxed. Mm. That's good. Okay, very good. Hmm. Gabriela, let's see. Al principio, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Two. <laughs> two. Uh -huh, be careful. Nice to meet you too. I'm a logistic engineering. Yo soy ingeniería, ingeniería logística. Logística, ingeniería. ¿Cómo es la cosa? Okay. I'm a Logistic engineering operator or agent, okay. agent. Uh -huh. I'm a logistic engineering agent. Uy, aquí sí. Póngame la mano así, por favor. Con la regla. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I have 24 years old. Acordate, para decirle, vamos a ocupar el verbo to be. I'm, um, I'm 24 years old. My brother, he is 35 years old. He is 35 years old. Es un error bien común, no te preocupes, pero sí, corrijámoslo rapidito. El verbo to be para decirle edad. No importa si es primera, segunda o tercera persona. Okay, you are 24. I'm 40. Um, he is 35 years old. I like paint in my free time. Me gusta la pintura en mi tiempo libre. Mm, ¿Qué falta ahí? Two. Paint? I like to paint or I like painting in my free time. Cuando son hobbies ocupa el ING. I like painting in my free time. I like jogging. I like swimming. I like eating pupusas. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Si usas ING, te está refiriendo a un hobby. Fíjate qué diferencia. Y si ocupas to paint, to swim, to eat, no es un hobby, sino que es algo que uses que es normalmente, pero no todos los días, ¿ya? No un hobby. Ok. General information. I like paint. I like painting. I like making puzzles. I like building puzzles. I like puzzles. No, porque hacerlos rompecabezas es crearlos y los a fabricar. Entonces, uh -huh, I like puzzles. Me gustan los rompecabezas. Uh -huh. I don't have the favorite movie. I don't have a favorite movie i don't have a favorite movie and repeat i have worked worked i have worked perfect i have worked for this company for two years okay i have worked for this company for two years el presente perfecto esos dos preposiciones el for y el since revisate eso i in charge of tu, tus labios son muy gruesos, trata de hacer la M. Para eso enfócate en cerrar los labios. Um, 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 um. Okay. 
Okay. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Yeah. Okay. I'm in charge. 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 I said, I'm in charge. Okay. Do it again. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Perfect. Charge. 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 Hey, Asia. 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 Mm -hmm. Europe. 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 Ahí estás, Europe. Ok, yeah. they're from Europe. Okay. Excelente. Mira el video de nuevo, repasas súper bien. Yo creo que a ti te falta poco, la verdad, y creo que estás en contacto con inglés en el trabajo, ¿va? siempre. Right? siempre. El sistema. Eh, sí, eh, de hecho usamos un programa que todo está en inglés y igual para pues hablar con los chinos <ríe> eh, hay que utilizarlo. Uh -huh. En chat. Sí, eh, por email. Únicamente. Menos mal, porque si fuera video que más. Ay, sí. yo recuerdo eso. Ya, ya me ha tocado. Y, y sí, es un poco complicado porque hablan, hablan un poco más, más rápido y, y hay palabras que, que no sé qué dicen. Pero ahí estamos. No, yo sé, me les cuesta pronunciar. No worry. Ok. Sí, nice. De hecho, sí, siento que, que tengo que practicar bastante, tengo seis meses porque eh, el próximo año por el trabajo eh, iré a Miami uh -huh. entonces Aprovecha. para ver una conferencia y tengo que sí, super bien congratulations, bueno uh -huh. cualquier cosa aquí estoy a la orden, me puedes enviar audio contestando cualquier pregunta y te mando feedback, oíste okay. cuídate mucho, good night gracias, good night bye bye